in my mouth. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, I have a really, really super exciting that is my phone. I should probably put it on silent. Hi loves, it's Belinda Celine and welcome back to my channel and today I have a really, really, really exciting video. It's a collaboration between my friend Ashley, aka Makeup by Amory, and I and we are both planner addicts. So I have a couple of DIYs for you guys with your planner as well and you guys should definitely check out her video as well as subscribe to her channel because she has amazing content, amazing quality. She has a lifestyle channel which is makeup and fashion and DIYs and all these different types of videos you guys have to check her out. Absolutely love her and let's get started with our video. The first thing that I want to share with you guys is how to make your own cover for your planners. It could be for spiral bound planners and also notebooks as well. All you need is some colorful scrapbook paper of your choice and then you're going to trace out the pattern of the cover that you currently have onto your planner. Then if you'd like you can also customize your planner with your name on it. Just simply print it out on a scrap sheet of paper, cut it out and paste it onto the cover. Once you have your cover the next step is to laminate it so you just want to insert it inside of the laminating sheet and run it through. Trim off the excess laminating paper and then you want to use the cover that you used before as a guide where you're going to mark your holes and then you're simply going to punch them out with a regular size hole puncher and then make slits wide enough depending on the type of planner that you have. You can personalize any notebook or any spiral bomb planner that you have. time to get organized inside of our planners and this is how I decorate and plan mine. I use a lot of different stickers and some that I get inspired by like these stickers from Two Little Bees which I absolutely love her Etsy shop. I'll have a link down below where you guys can find all of these stickers because they are mostly from Etsy shops and some of them I'll have included in my giveaway. So I just like to decorate it with a bunch of different washi tape as well and I like to go for different themes. I got inspired by the Two Little Bees theme stickers so I'm going for a pink and black theme and I love adding quotes and adding cute little patterns and squares inside of my planner and what I like to do is I like to write on top of them so not only are they decorative and pretty but you can also write on top of them to remind you of special events or lists that you have to do. DIY, I want to share with you guys how to make your own page marker so you don't lose your place where your planner is and it's easy to get access to. All you need is a really pretty decorative journaling card. Just mark where the hole should be, hole punch the card, and then make sure to make slits wide enough depending on the kind of spiral bound that you have on your planner. And you can also write on the back of your card if you'd like as well. Now I personally need and love my planner because it keeps track of everything that I have to do like my work schedule as well as when my bills are due and adding these cute little stickers just make it so much more fun and it really motivates me to keep going back to my planner and staying organized and knowing what I have to do on a day to day basis and keeping up with appointments and events that are important. One of my must-haves are page flags and I use these to mark down things that I have to do and I don't want them to be permanently stuck on there so that's why I like to use them in case things or events change in my plans and I can move them around. So I want to share with you guys how I make my own page flags and these are super fun and easy to do. Now I know they could be hard to find especially if you look for them at Target and if you don't have a Target near you, you can make your own. All you need for this is scrap sheet of paper which I'm sure you have plenty laying around. All I'm doing is marking exactly how wide they are on my trimmer. To make these flags, you don't need a page trimmer. All you need to know is that they are two inches long by a half of an inch wide and you can just measure that and cut the strips down. And then once I have all the strips, I grab a bunch of them in one hand to make it easier on myself and then I go ahead and I cut them down. And once you have all of your page flags cut out, go ahead and sort them out depending on their pattern. Now we're going to grab another piece of paper, make sure that it's cardstock so it's sturdy, and this is where we're going to store our page flags. And you want about five of them to fit across. So I'm just tracing the one that's from Target, but you can make yours as big or as wide as you'd like. And go ahead and trim it down to size, 
and then I'm going to grab a little bit of this tacky glue to make sure that they don't go anywhere and they stick to the bottom and then I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it with washi tape and stickers. It is time for our giveaway. Ashley and I are both having a giveaway and I'm super excited. So the first thing that you're going to get is a matching book bag so that we are twinsies and a bunch of other fun goodies too like really cute colorful pens to get you ready for back to school along with this gorgeous iPhone 6 Starbucks phone case which are very rare and super adorable along with a bunch of stickers to help you decorate your planner along with some Heidi Swap stickers and of course Aaron Condren stickers and markers as well along with your very own Aaron Condren planner which I will ship to you along with a $10 coupon for your own personalized cover and some of my favorite makeup brands. All of the information for the giveaway will be in the description box below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It'll really help me out. And now head on over to Ashley's channel and don't forget to subscribe to her channel as well so you guys can keep up with all the latest videos. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Muchos besos. Mwah.